Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Maths Book. Today I am here with the continuation of Class Eight Mathematics Model Paper for the year 2024. So in my previous video, we had completed till question number 16. So let us begin with the question number 17 now. Here second main answer the following question. So the question number 17 is how many natural number lies between 11 square and 12 square. So how we will solve the number lies between. We should know the formula n square and n plus 1 square is 2n. So the formula is here. Two n. So let let us take n is equals to eleven. So the answer will be n is equals to eleven. N plus one will be what? Eleven plus one is twelve. So n square eleven square. N plus one square is twelve square. So n square is eleven square, and n plus one eleven plus one is twelve square is two n. That is n is eleven. So eleven to the twenty-two. So how many numbers lies between twenty-two numbers? So any question of this type should be solved in this way. Let us see the next question. Eighteen. Observe the adjacent figure. Observe the adjacent figure. This figure we have to observe and write the coordinate of point K. First answer. So here the first question is coordinate of point K. So how we will get coordinate of point K? Here point K, x value is on two and y value is on four. So two four. Like that second one, point whose coordinate are two zero, two and zero. See this is the two of x and zero of y. So M. The point M, which point M is nothing but two zero. Next question, let us see question number nineteen. Write the formula used to find total surface area of cuboid whose length, breadth, and height are L, B, and H unit. So we will write formula total surface area of cuboid. Is equals to two length breadth breadth height and height length. So two L B plus B H plus H L. This is total surface area. So square unit. This is the answer for. This is the formula for finding total surface area of cuboid. Next question. In the coordinate system, where does a point Whose x coordinate is zero and y coordinate is non-zero lie? Which axis? So y axis. Question twenty is y axis. Next question. Here third main now. Question number twenty-one. Twenty-four years ago, ratio of age of Rama and Shashi was four is to five. Now. This ratio is eight is to nine. Present ratio is eight is to nine. Find their age twenty four years ago. So let us start. Present age is eight is to nine. So it is in the form of ratio. I'll write in the form of age. Let the present age of Rama be. We have assumed so eight x, and the present age of Shashi B nine x. Twenty four years ago, twenty four years ago they have told us to find find their age twenty four years ago. So let us sign and present age is. Twenty-four uh, years ago, their age is in the form of ratio four is to five. They have given so twenty-four years ago, Rama's age. 
एट एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर बिकॉज इट इज ट्वेंटी फोर इयर्स एगो शशीस एज नाइन एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर सो लेट अस राइट इन द रेशियो फॉर्म एट एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर अपॉन नाइन एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू सो देर एज ट्वेंटी फोर इयर्स एगो इज फोर इज टू फाइव फोर बाई फाइव लेट अस क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस फाइव इंटू एट एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्व टू फोर इंटू दिस क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई फोर इंटू नाइन एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर सो लेट अस सॉल्व नाउ फाइव एट जा फोर्टी एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर फाइव जा वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी फोर फाइव जा दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी इज इक्व टू फोर नाइन जा थर्टी सिक्स एच एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर फोर जा फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर इज नथिंग बट नाइंटी सिक्स लेट अस सॉल्व नाउ एक्स टर्म विल ब्रिंग वन साइड फोर्टी एक्स माइनस थर्टी सिक्स एक्स इज इक्व टू माइनस नाइंटी सिक्स इयर ओनली आई कीप आई एल ब्रिंग दिस वन ट्वेंटी दिस साइड दिस माइनस बिकम्स प्लस प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी माइनस थ्री एक्स इज फोर एक्स फ्रॉम फोर्टी इफ वी रिमूव थर्टी सिक्स इट इज फोर एक्स फ्रॉम वन ट्वेंटी इफ वी रिमूव नाइंटी सिक्स If you minus one twenty minus ninety six carry one ten minus six is four eleven minus nine is two so twenty four bigger sign is plus so twenty four x is equals to twenty four by four four ones are four four six are twenty four x is equals to we got x but they didn't ask to find x they have told us to find their age twenty four years ago so. Twenty-four years ago, we have assumed their age. Twenty-four years ago, Rama age. What we have taken? Rama age, eight x minus twenty-four. So eight x value. What we got? Six minus twenty-four. That is eight six a forty-eight. Forty-eight minus twenty-four. If we do, we get twenty-four. So how many years Rama was? Twenty-four years before, twenty-four years ago, like that only Shashi's age. What we have taken twenty-four years ago, nine x minus twenty-four. So I'll write nine x minus twenty-four. Nine x plus what we will write six minus twenty-four. Nine six a fifty-four minus twenty-four. If we minus fifty-four minus twenty-four, we get thirty years. So we got. Their years before twenty four years, twenty four years ago. So this is the question of question number twenty one. Let us see the next question. By prime factorization method, find the cube root of two seven four four. Okay, cube root of this. We have to find cube root of two seven four four by prime factorization. Okay. Two seven four four. We know it will divisible in two table. Two ones are two. Two threes are six. Carry will give two sevens are fourteen. Two twos are four. Next, two six are twelve. Two eights are sixteen. Two six are twelve. Again, we will do in two table. Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Two threes are six. Now it will not go in. Two table. Let us check in three table. Three ones are three. Three ones are three. One carry. It won't go in three table. And five it won't go because we know last digit should be five. Let us try in seven. Seven. Seven fours are twenty eight. Twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four. So six remains. Seven nines are sixty three. Then seven sevens are forty nine. Seven ones are seven. We got pair of three. Yes. So what we got here? Two cube into seven cube. So our answer is two into seven. Seven to the fourteen. So cube root of two seven four four is nothing but fourteen. This complete the question number twenty two. Let us see next question. So question number twenty three now. Subtract three minus seven x plus five x square. 
from 7x square minus 4x minus 2. So after from whichever number is there, first we have to take that. So I'll write 7x square minus 4x plus 2 subtract they have told minus 3 minus 7x plus 5x square. So I have written like this. After from whatever number I have is there I have taken first. Then subtract they have told minus I have wrote and I have taken. So this I will keep as it is. 7x square minus 4x plus 2 as it is. Minus plus minus 3. Minus minus plus 7x. Minus plus minus 5x square. Let us bring the like terms nearer. That is. 7x square minus 5x square. Then minus 4x plus 7x. Then plus 2 minus 3. Let us solve now. These are the like terms. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2x square minus plus minus. 7 minus 4, 3. Bigger number is plus. So plus 3x minus and plus. So minus 3 minus 2 is 1. Bigger number is minus. So this is the answer. 2x square plus 3x minus 1. Let us see the next question. Divide 5y cube minus 125y by y plus 5. Okay. Divide they have told 5y cube minus 125y by y plus 5. So here we can see it is 5 is common and y is common. So I will take it outside. 5 common because 125 going 5 table and y here also is there, here also is there. So y is also common. 5 I have taken common outside. y cube. From y cube 1 y I have taken outside. So y square remains. Minus 5 2 za 10. What remains? 2 remains. 5 5 za 25. Y already have taken common. Okay. So what remains in the denominator? Y plus 5. Next I will do here. 5Y as it is. This Y square I will write as it is. Minus 25 square. 25 is 5 square. Upon Y plus 5. Now we know that A square minus B square formula is A plus B and A minus B. So I will write in place of y square minus 5 square 5y y square minus 5 square what I will do this I will consider a and this I will consider b y plus 5 y minus 5 upon y plus 5 we have. So y plus 5 y plus 5 get cancelled. So what is our answer 5y into y minus 5 is the answer. So this is the answer for question number 24. Let us see question number 25. So here find the sum of interior angle of 10 sided convex polygon. We know that sum of interior angle of angle of polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree. This is the formula. So here n is 10 sided. So n 10. So let us write n is nothing but 10 minus 2 into 180 degree. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 into 180 degree. If we multiply 180 into 8, we get 1440. This is the answer. 1440 that is the sum of interior angle of 10 sided convex polygon. Now therefore sum of interior angle of 10 sided polygon is 1440. If we want one angle what we have to do? If they ask Find one angle. Therefore, one angle will be how we will find one angle. Sum 1440 upon how many side? 10 side. So, 0, 0 get cancelled. 
144 degree we get so till here in this paper i have completed question number 16 to 25 in my next video i am coming up with the question number 26 do like and share and subscribe my channel thank you